22, step nine, win or tie if the board is full. So for this round, we're gonna run with a uh, smaller board so that uh, it's easier to make the board full. And if the board is full, uh, what happens? Well, in this case, it's a tie because if you place all zeros everywhere, naturally, every single uh, turn sum is zero. So uh, they tie and they each get a point. Otherwise, uh, well, in order to keep track of this, you're going to want to keep track of the turn sums because at the end of the round, it's going to be whoever's turn sums is closest to 42. That's how you determine who won the round if the board is full. So to know that, you sort of have to keep track of the best turn sums so far for each player in this round. You might want to think about what I just said. So actually, I'll show you what I just said. I'll print it out. So let me show you here. I'll go here. So if I put a one here, player one just got a one as their turn sum. So their best turn sum on this round is a one. Player two's best uh, turn sum is still a zero. So if I go for orange now, I'll put say like a three here, orange will get a turn sum of four, and its best turn sum is four, blues is still one. Now if I go say here, and for blue I put a five, blue's best turn sum is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's the nine, four still for uh, orange. And if orange, for instance, goes uh, here with a nine, you get 12, 13, 18. There's orange is 18. Blue comes down here and foolishly plays a zero. It's not gonna help. Its turn sum will be six. Its best turn sum is already nine, so we see that blue's best turn is still nine. Orange's was 18. Actually, as it turns out, orange has already won no matter what orange does here. But say orange does a three here. Three, four, plus five is nine. No, say four, so it's 10. So orange's best turn sum was 18. Uh, blue's was nine, and orange won the round. So as you can see, <clears throat> as we're going along, we're just keeping track of the best turn sum for blue and for orange. And since the round just was one, when we start over, uh, their best turn sums are back to zero for each of them. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Now you have to know when the board's full. <clears throat> for that, just count as you're making turns. Since you know the rows and calls of the board, you know the maximum number of turns you can make in a round. If you get to that number, uh, the board is necessarily full and then you can check if there was a win or a tie. Uh, that's it for this step.